it's Wade and welcome everyone to Agri Street Back in Garden with me, Mitchell Junus Wade. So in today's video feature, we are going to talk about growing cucumber plants in a greenhouse. Now these cucumber plants are doing very well. I actually planted the seed or actually sowed the seed based on the almanac when it said to sow melon, pumpkin, cucumbers. And I've been posting these things on our page, the dates that are best, when I get time for sure. I post when is the best day to plant seeds or transplant seedlings. Now what I've noticed and I can testify is that the almanac when it said to plant the cucumber, it was indeed correct. Because there are so many male and female flowers on this cucumber plant. Now the only downside to growing cucumbers in the greenhouse is pollination. Now because there are no birds or bees in the greenhouse, it's difficult. And I have to personally come and take the male flower, remove the petal and actually insert it into the female cucumber. Now the frustrating thing about this is though it actually works, because I'll show you one where I actually try it and it works. Though it actually works, I have to ensure that I'm here every day. And the thing is that I'm not in the back in garden every day. And sometimes I come home at night or in the evening and by the time I come the female flower already closed and it's too late for cold. So I'd like to advise you that if you're going to grow or if you're planning on growing cucumbers in your greenhouse, try your best to ensure that you're always available or someone is available to actually pollinate the female cucumbers with one of the male flowers. The good thing about growing cucumbers in the greenhouse is that the soil remains moist for a much longer period than if it was outside. Because when I actually grew my cucumbers outside, I had to wet it almost every day. But this one, I don't even have to wet it every day because the soil remains moist for a longer period when it's actually in the greenhouse. So one of the challenges that I'm having actually is controlling it. As you can see, it's actually massive. It's not massive as in a big plant, but because it has so many plants down there and they're all trying to grow out now, I have to keep pulling it downwards so that it could bend like this. So it's growing up like this. I will try to go upwards, we'll have to put it back down and then it's going back up again. So that's what it's doing because this one, if it was stretched out, maybe it would have been almost a meter over this height. But as you can see, I keep bringing them back down and intertwining them. So it's actually doing very well. So let me show you what the female cucumber looks like and the male cucumber and I'll show you the successful ones I pollinated myself. So these are the female cucumbers. As you can see, this one, it's already closed. I was not home yesterday afternoon and I only came almost late around 9 o'clock last night. So most likely these girls right there, they will drop off most likely. Only if bees came in I did not know. But this is what the female one looks like. Now I'm going to show you a female one that I saw. I've pollinated it in a while. Um, it's opened. This one right here. As you can see. And it's open. And here's another one. This one looked like it worked. I pollinated this one, it looked like it would. A lot more down there. All these. All these. This one will open possibly tomorrow maybe. This one opened already. I have to pollinate it just now. So they are doing remarkably well just by following the armor. Now let me show you the successful ones. There it is. It's getting there. This one I self pollinated. So there it is. There is greener and as it's coming down. It eventually just become bright and green. Well, let me show you the other one. Here's the other cucumber. Here it is down there. This one. And this is Dasha, by the way. Dasha cucumber. There are roughly about 20 plants, I think, in there. Because on this side alone, we have about 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yeah, 10. Look, here about 10. And then look, we have up behind the next end of that fence. So about 20 cucumber plants growing in there. So I want to encourage you, if you can, and you have a greenhouse, try your best to actually grow your cucumbers in your greenhouse. If you don't want to actually do it permanently, but at least try it out. And you'll get a practice of self-pollination and the joy of knowing how important bees are to us. Bees and birds and some other flying insects which don't actually consume our plant, but actually come for the pollen in the plant. So let me try to see if I can show you how to do the self-pollination again. I will not guarantee that you will be able to see it too good because of the type of camera that I'm using. But at least you can see the two different flowers I'm using and the way I'm removing the petal and so on. So let me show you this. So this is what the male flower looks like. As you can see, there is no small cucumber beneath the flower. And this one has a small cucumber beneath it. See it? So now you take your male flower, you want to know cucumber benefit, 
try your best to remove the petal. And then this will remain. I'm quite sure you'll not be able to see it. Okay, so then this will remain. Jeez, this is so small. And you take it and you insert it into the female. Naturally, you'll know what to do. I think you'll know what to do naturally. Um, so then you take it and you just insert it into the female. Ensure that you insert it. Try your best to insert it and see if it can stay. And voila. There you have it. So was this an encouragement to you? Let us know by commenting below. Thank you very much for liking our videos. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for liking our Facebook page. I would also like to encourage you to follow us on Instagram simply by looking for agrosweed. A G R O S U E D E. You could also send us a message or a request on our WhatsApp number 17676170224. And remember, a backyard garden in some ways will keep the doctors away. And Agro's way is out.